Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the third week of August, 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Chris Peluso died August 15, 2023, at the age of 40. He starred on Broadway as Sky in Mamma Mia, as well as appearing in such shows as Assassins and Beautiful, the Carol King musical. Peluso is also being remembered for his role as Fierro in a tour of Wicked. A note to remember, sometimes personal information such as someone's cause of death is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Racing driver Ashley Albertson died August 18, 2023 in Jackson County, Indiana. She died as a passenger in a traffic accident at the age of 24. She had been racing midget cars since she was 12 years old, joining NASCAR icon Tony Stewart's racing team. Albertson is being remembered as a rising star of the racing world who is gone too soon. Sportscaster Rick Jenneret died August 17, 2023 of multiple organ failure at the age of 81. He was the beloved play-by-play announcer for the NHL's Buffalo Sabres for more than 50 years. Jenneret is being remembered for iconic calls like his shouts of Mayday when Brian May made a crucial overtime goal in 1993. Musician Bobby Eli died August 17, 2023 in Philadelphia. He died of natural causes at the age of 77. A guitarist with the legendary Philadelphia studio band MFSB, he is considered one of the architects of the Philly sound. Eli is also being remembered for writing such songs as Love Won't Let Me Wait by Major Harris and Sideshow by Blue Magic. Football player Maxie Bonn died August 19, 2023, in Ithaca, New York. He died of natural causes at the age of 85. He was a Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Famer, going to the Pro Bowl five times in his six seasons with the team. Bonn is also being remembered for his years with the Los Angeles Rams, including another four Pro Bowl appearances. Singer and songwriter Ray Hildebrand died August 18, 2023, in Kansas City, Missouri, at the age of 82. He was better known as Paul when he sang with the 1960s pop duo Paul and Paula. He wrote their 1963 hit, Hey Paula. Hildebrand is also being remembered for his later career as a Christian contemporary musician with Land and Hildebrand. Geologist W. Jason Morgan died July 31, 2023, at his home in Natick, Massachusetts, at the age of 87. He pioneered discoveries in plate tectonics, explaining how the movement of plates changes the face of the Earth over time and causes volcanic activity. He is also being remembered for his theory of mantle plumes, explaining how some anomalous volcanoes are formed. Morgan was a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the 1950s. Businesswoman Patricia Bragg died August 10, 2023, at her home in Goleta, California, at the age of 94. She was the longtime CEO of Bragg Live Food Products, known for health staples like apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos, and nutritional yeast. Bragg is being remembered for her philanthropy and health advocacy. Politician James Buckley died August 18, 2023, at a hospital in Washington, D.C. at the age of 100. 
He represented New York in the U.S. Senate in the 1970s as a member of the Conservative Party of New York State. He is also being remembered as a federal judge appointed by President Ronald Reagan after his time in the Senate. Buckley was a U.S. Navy veteran of World War II. Computer scientist John Warnock died August 19, 2023 of pancreatic cancer at the age of 82. He was a co-founder of Adobe Systems, where he co-created the now ubiquitous PDF for file sharing. Warnock is also being remembered for his work on creative software mainstays like Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Politician Al Kui died August 18, 2023, in Wayzata, Minnesota. He died of natural causes at the age of 99. He was a Republican who represented Minnesota in the U.S. Senate for more than 20 years and later became the state's governor. He is being remembered for his advocacy for people with disabilities. Kui was a U.S. Navy veteran of World War II. Olympian Tom Courtney died August 22, 2023, at an assisted living facility in Naples, Florida. He died of amyloidosis at the age of 90. He won gold medals at the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne, Australia, in the 800-meter dash and 4x400-meter relay. He is being remembered for a last-second burst of speed that won him the gold in the 800-meter race by a mere tenth of a second. Courtney was a U.S. Army veteran who was serving when he competed in the Olympics. Politician Carol Robles Roman died August 20, 2023, in New York City. She died of lung cancer at the age of 60. She was deputy mayor of New York City alongside Mayor Mike Bloomberg, one of the longest serving deputy mayors in the city's history. Robles Roman is being remembered for her work on behalf of women and those affected by human trafficking. Neuroscientist Sliman Benzmea died August 11, 2023, in Chicago at the age of 49. He revolutionized prosthetic limbs, developing technology that allows them to provide a realistic sense of touch to their users. Bensmeya is being remembered for his work to improve robotic hands, assist spinal cord injury victims, and more. Screenwriter David Jacobs died August 20, 2023, at a hospital in Burbank, California. He died of complications from a series of infections at the age of 84. He created two great primetime soap operas, Dallas and its spin-off Knott's Landing, also writing extensively for both shows. Jacobs is being remembered for his profound influence on the development of primetime soaps. Wrestler and actor Terry Funk died August 23, 2023, at the age of 79. In a professional wrestling career that lasted more than 50 years, he became known for his hardcore style, and many consider him one of the greatest pro wrestlers of all time. Funk is also being remembered for his performances in Roadhouse, Paradise Alley, and other movies. Actress Nancy Frangione died August 18, 2023, in Barnstable, Massachusetts, at the age of 70. She played Cecile de Poulignac on Another World in the 1980s and 90s, winning the first Soap Opera Digest Award for Best Villainess. Frangione is also being remembered for her roles on All My Children, The Nanny, and other TV shows. Actor Ron Cephas Jones died August 19, 2023, of a long-standing pulmonary issue at the age of 66. 
He won two Emmy Awards for his performance on This Is Us as William Hill, Randall's biological father. Jones is also being remembered as a Tony Award nominee for his work in Clyde's, as well as for such TV shows as Mr. Robot and Luke Cage. Wrestler Wyndham Rotunda died August 24, 2023, of a heart attack after battling COVID-19 at the age of 36. He was a third-generation pro wrestler and a star of WWE, best known by his ring name, Bray Wyatt. He won the WWE Championship in 2017. Rotunda is being remembered for his creative character work in the ring and in promos, and for his iconic entrance in darkness holding a lantern. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Eleven years ago this week, comedian and actress Phyllis Diller died at the age of 95. One of the first well-known female comedians, she was widely seen on TV from the 1960s through 2000s on shows like The Hollywood Squares and The Bold and the Beautiful. Eighteen years ago this week, actor Brock Peters died at the age of 78. He had memorable roles in such movies as To Kill a Mockingbird, Porgy and Bess, and Soylent Green. Twenty-two years ago this week, singer and actress Aaliyah died at the age of 22. She was known for hits like Try Again and Miss You, and she starred in the movies Romeo Must Die and Queen of the Damned. Musician Keith Moon was born 77 years ago this week. He died in 1978 at the age of 32. He was the drummer for The Who, playing on enduring hits like My Generation and Pinball Wizard. Actress Valerie Harper was born 84 years ago this week. She died in 2019 at the age of 80. She was best known for her starring roles on The Mary Tyler Moore Show and its spin-off, Rhoda. Musician Kenny Rogers was born 85 years ago this week. He died in 2020 at the age of 81. He was a superstar of country music thanks to hits like The Gambler, Lucille, and his duet with Dolly Parton, Islands in the Stream. Actor Sean Connery was born 93 years ago this week. He died in 2020 at the age of 90. He became a star as he played James Bond in seven films, and he also starred in such movies as Marnie and The Untouchables. Singer and songwriter Jim Reeves was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 1964 at the age of 40. He was a star of country music in the 1950s and 60s with hit singles like Four Walls and He'll Have to Go. Conductor and composer Leonard Bernstein was born 105 years ago this week. He died in 1990 at the age of 72. One of the greatest conductors of his time, he was also renowned for writing the music for the classic musical West Side Story and the operetta Candide. Author Jacqueline Suzanne was born 105 years ago this week. She died in 1974 at the age of 56. Her 1964 debut novel, Valley of the Dolls, became legendary as one of the top-selling novels of all time. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of EMT Michael Ray Wilcox, Jr. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of State Senator John L. Scott, Jr. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Corporal Donald L. Donnie DuPont, who was killed in the Korean War. His remains were recently identified and sent home for burial. 
Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of firefighter and first responder Sean Giles, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of National Guard 182nd Medical Company Sergeant First Class DeClacio A. Dos Anjos. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of IRS Special Agent Patrick Bauer. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.